Yes guys, what is going on? And welcome back to another video. So, the M240 is about to go on track. It's actually gonna be taken on track on Tuesday. I'm filming this video on Sunday. So I've got probably today and probably a bit of tomorrow to get the car ready. And when I say get the car ready, I mean something that I can do, something I've seen a few other people do, is actually upgrade their own seats. So, I've had these seats in the 140, I've had these seats in the M2, I've had them now back in the M240 and I don't know how many times I'm going to say it, I cannot stand these seats. Just have a quick look. So as you can see, day to day, actually as you can't see because it's quite dark, but day to day, let me get this, let me just be straight with you, these seats are fine, they're comfortable, they're, I've been looking for these, bloody hell. They're comfortable, they do the job really, really well, you've got a bit of bolstering on the side here with this button over here so it does get but it's not good for on track especially because it's this shiny slippery lever which isn't very good and like I said comfort wise they definitely do the job I'm going to sit on them in a minute comfort wise they definitely do the job but for what I need that bolstering that support it's going to have to be a fully fledged bucket seat so the car is prepped we've got the semi sticks we've got the road pads in track pads in rather we've got everything we need to go out on track but I think the final piece of the puzzle to help me get my time is better and to make me enjoy my track days probably a bit more is definitely going to be the seats so Mark has kindly sent down the ones from his E46 M3 B58 that we're building because the engine isn't quite ready yet so the car isn't quite ready and just for me to just to tie me over until it's actually time for me to get my own set and obviously take on time attack next year and by then I probably would have had a bit more seat time and then I can say you know what these are the seats I'm after. This is what I'm gonna do, blah, 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 blah. So for today, we are actually gonna fit them. I don't know why I closed the door. So from what I know, you've got a bolt here and a bolt here and the same on the other side. You've also got the seat belt area, which is gonna be quite an issue. So the seat belt here can actually stay as it is, or you can run it so it goes through one of the holes in the bucket seat where the lap belt would go and then back into there. So you can still use that on the road because that is what you should be using on the road because God forbid you have an accident in your harness you probably are just going to slip straight down so that's the whole point of having a crutch when you are on track but on the road this is what you need especially more importantly because of this so this over here ladies and gentlemen is just a buckle but there's also a little shotgun that's connected to it so when you do crash it blows and it tightens this up so this is actually going to go lower it's going to compress and that's going to really squeeze the belt against you and and on some cars it actually preps you so if you're driving quite aggressively it just starts to tighten the belt automatically so that's going to be that there is an airbag in here so you've got an airbag in the side of there so that's going to have to be deactivated because when i do switch to a bucket seat obviously there's no airbag in it so i'm going to have to tell the car this seat isn't connected or stop checking for an airbag if not i'm going to have a light on the cluster so we're going to get in touch with the main man define coding for that as well but for today let's get on with this install which i believe should be fairly easy i'm not going to tell the wife it's going to take me five minutes because gentlemen do not make that mistake do not if you're going to work on your car whether you're cleaning it or whether you're just i don't know wiping the the, the dashboard down don't ever give them a tie it's just headache man. Just headache. the reason why i'm showing you this is because this is what is classed as the seat mount and then obviously you have the side rails which allow you to adjust the tilt and obviously the height of how you're sitting but this is from swm so sw motorsports that anything track related whether you're looking at roll cages seat mounts they're the go-to's and this specific seat mount for the m2 is amazing because it actually allows you to sit even lower than usual because you can get some seat mounts which are okay they all do the same job essentially but this allows you to sit a lot lower than you would on some other brands so big shout out to sw motorsports for this you can also find this on williams performance page so i'm going to leave a link where you can find this as well so you can access that on a harness you have your five or your six or your four the four is normally just two shoulder straps and two side belts as well but with this uh, it allows us to run a crutch one as well so we can go five or even six so essentially probably go six we have got six point belts as well so we can go two of these in here these are called eyelets i want to say or eye bolts and that literally goes in there in there then you can clip it on and tighten it up through the crutch and then when you do i don't know slam on the brakes there's no sliding in your seat and there's something called submarine which i'm not going to get into because it sounds quite confusing but essentially you're not going to slide through your seat or you're not going to slide down in your seat if you do run these it just gives you that extra bit of support but yeah i'm going to get on with the install battery's going to come out i'm going to whiz the two bolts out again and then that is it we're going to go for our first drive
Okay, so as you can see, we have installed the seats. So we have got a pair. I know it looked like I was only doing one, but it was no point me doing another one and doing B-roll of that, because at the end of the day, it's the exact same thing. Something to note is that we are running the six points. You can see down here, I don't know how well you can see, we've got two straps coming out of the crotch area, two shoulders and two lap belts. So that is six. You can just get one that goes through there, which would be five, or you can go without that and just go for a four point, which is probably okay for the road, but on a track, if you do, God forbid have an accident and you don't have the crotch then you're you're more likely to submarine which means we'd literally go down hence the word submarine we are running two different types of belts as well so we will get these changed out um, for time attack but for this year it just means when I go out on track I've got a set of harnesses and obviously the passenger has as well so again big shout out to cousin Mark for letting me borrow these we will get a set for next year but for now it's all about seat time so yeah got a track there coming up in a few days time so I'm going to experience it then but for now let's get out on the road and see how much of a difference it makes okay so <laughs> bucket seats the word game changer comes to mind and I know sometimes it is overused but Lord have mercy it isn't in this case <laughs> back into a 30 so let's just while we can talk about the difference because boy it is dramatic and I've got a track there coming up, so I'm very intrigued to see the difference it's going to make to me as a driver on the track. So, when you're on a normal BMW lever, the quarter black, whatever it's called, seat, you tend to slide out of your seats, or when you're on a track there, you're using a lot of your core strength to keep you centralised. When you go around a roundabout, for example, at say 40 miles an hour on a 50 mile an hour road, you might notice that you're sliding out of your seat and you're kind of thinking, oh, I'm going too fast, I need to back, back it in a bit, back it up a bit, easy now. And that back it up a bit isn't needed anymore because what you're doing is actually pushing to the limits of your body in that case. So when you go around a roundabout and you're sliding out, you're like, okay, cool, I can't really, that's the car's maximum. But now I've been able to take a roundabout that I normally take about 30, 40 miles an hour at say 40, 50 mile an hour in a 70 mile an hour speed limit. So <laughs> it's a huge difference in terms of finding the grip levels of the car. Because like I said, the car can grip all day. I'm running semi slicks, I'm running a decent setup. The car can definitely grip all day. But what I was experiencing was, oh yeah, this car is just M lights, you know, washy, very washy, very wallowy. No, sir. The grip that this car actually has, now I've got the bucket seats, just then, I just threw it around that bend, and again, uh, the bolstering that you get, because essentially, it's more about the upper area. If you think about it, your lower area is always gonna stay your lower area. You're always gonna try and keep yourself quite centralized when you sit. What is going on here? Do what you came to do, my friend. Um. I don't understand what the cyclist came to do. What did you come to do? What is your... <laughs> Boy, so again, we're breaking here, so we're not gonna be able to throw it around too much, but throw it around here, and straight away, everything is connected. I feel like I'm at one with the car, and I know it's probably a bold statement to make, but I've had this car for close to, I wanna say, just under a year now, and due to the seats, I now have a better connection to the car than I ever had. Nothing, no other mod has given me this sort of connection. And that's not just a shameless plug because it's Williams Performance and whatnot, but seats are a game changer. Again, check out our site. We are adding quite a few track parts to the car as we're gonna hopefully get this car in for Time Attack next year. We've got the lowered seat mount, so big, big shout out to SW Motorsports, because I'm not the tallest guy. I'm standing about 5'11", six foot on a good day. And something I noticed straight away is, when I have got into other people's cars, I've had to put the seat in the lowest setting, which isn't something that I, I want to do. I want to have it quite far up, but at the same time, I don't want it to be somewhere where my helmet's going to be touching this, the, the roof. So essentially, with the lower seat mounts from SW Motorsports, what we're able to do, we're able to have the, the seat in its lowest position, which is great, because I'm, I'm probably it's only going to be me and Mark driving the car. Have, oops, I've got a seat around here, because it's quite a dangerous bend. 
Lovely. It's quite slippery here as well. <laughs> oh, starting to spit as well. Starting to have a little pitter patter. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, it's definitely something that I feel needs to happen because those of you that are tall, like most people probably will be taller than me or 5'11 might be the general height, I don't know. You don't want to be in a position where when you put your helmet on, your head's knocking on the roof or you're in a position where you can't go any lower. So I'd much rather have the car how it is now in its highest position and be able to lower it down if needs be, because I've still got enough space above me. And I think anyone that is Marcus taller than me, 6'1", he can jump in the seat, we can lower it down a cog or two, and he's sorted, as opposed to not having any more room to play with, if that makes sense. So SW Motorsports, definitely for the win. We are looking at a few other bits to get from them, so stay tuned and look out on the website for that. But as a setup, the bucket seats have to happen. If you take your car out for a good, nice hoon and you're experiencing anything of oh i don't think the car's turning in enough that's probably down to your seats because like i said once you whack in the seats i cannot i cannot encourage it enough the feeling that you get with the car the connected feeling that you get with the car is next level it's absolutely next level like i said when I'm going on good hoons, I'm always like, oh, let me back it off a bit because the car's washing wide. The car isn't washing wide. It's actually you that, that you're not putting the right inputs in because you're not directly connected to the car, if that makes any sense. So guys, enough talking from me. I hope you're having a great week. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, give it a like if you've enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. God bless. The connection, connected. I think that should be my next, my next thing. You know, like, I can feel everything from the uppers to the downers to the lefters to the righters. I can feel it. I don't know how I'm doing my math like that, but yeah, savage. <laughs> Ooh. Might get some more ethanol. Stick some ethanol in the tank. 502 brake horsepower, baby. <laughs> All right, that's enough for me. That's enough. Maybe not. Maybe not. I'm sweating, you know. I'm sweating. Ah, oh, there's no aircon on. Because what happens is when you film and you have the aircon on, there's loads of Darth Vader sounds coming into the mic. Like, oh, 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 I am your father. So yeah, let's uh, put the aircon back on full blast. Actually, not too high because it's going to use a lot of petrol, and petrol's we're looking after the petrol right now, isn't it? Obviously, come on now. Easy now. Yes, yes. M440i. Don't know what, what I think, whether I should change my badge out. So I do like, the, there's a bronzy coloured M light -like badge, the like M140 or M240, 340. They do like a bronze colour. It's quite beautiful. Oh, no, see? Come on, lads. Have a good game. See you guys. If you're still watching, then you're, you're, you're a true, true, true mate. I don't call you guys fans or supporters. It's weird people say fans and supporters like I'm not a football team so you can't really support me but then again it is me and by watching this you are supporting me so yeah I'm just waiting until I get to a petrol station <laughs> which is just up the road I might go and see my mate Max and like man like Max worst mechanic in the world <laughs> like Max gets something I'm like Max <laughs> I like Max like keep keep it come round we'll fit it together a few moments later hey yo Tim um, What's the socket size for this? Or Tim, it's like, like bruv, I told you to come to the yard. <laughs> oh, Lord. Man like Max. My brother. That's my guy. My brother. Come on. <laughs> Always have your hands on the wheel. Never pause anything if you don't need to. So now we're in a petrol station. Fairly safe here. And boom.